Well, hello, boys and girls. It is Mrs. Hicks, your favorite music teacher. And we're gonna have some more fun today. Thank you for coming onto my channel and you're seeing a lot of different songs that I'm posting. And how do you like the picture of my buddy slipper with the recorders and the daffodils behind it? Isn't that great? That's my picture from now on. If you are new to me, welcome. I love everybody who comes to this channel so that, you know, I love to teach music and I miss going into the schools because we are all stuck at home. So I hope you're in your pajamas, in your own bunny slippers or doggy slippers and let's relax with our recorders. Please get one. Easy to get online for about $3.50. So look online, get a recorder. Here we go. So today's lesson, I'm gonna talk about the fingerings for the first five notes for the recorder, and also how to figure out the rhythms, the, you know, the, the value of music notes. We've all seen music notes, like for example, let's see, what can I show you? Um, here's some, for example, in Ode to Joy, or Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Do you see how some of them are black, all right? And some of them are white in color? Um, there's a reason for that, and we're going to discuss that also today. Yeah. Again, if you don't know this stuff, you're new, your dark days are going to be over. So let's get started. All right. First, I'm going to talk about the recorder, first five notes and the fingerings for them. So <clears throat> when you see a fingering chart, and again, you can get a fingering chart online easy and it'll show you all the music notes, all the fingerings for the recorder. You know, just to give you an idea, here's the lowest, which is a low C. The highest note is a high D. What we're gonna be playing first are the Bs, A's, G's, C's, and D's, and of course I have other lessons that require both hands and other notes. You're gonna learn so much. All right, now, here's how it works. When the circle is colored in, Usually it's black, but these are red or colored in. That means the hole is covered. So we have in the back of the recorder, here's the thumb hole, okay? That is facing your eyeballs, and that is what your left, left thumb is covering, all right? And again, when it's colored in, that means that hole is covered. So this is basically like a vertical picture of the recorder. So thumb is covered in the back, yeah, the hole by itself, that's the thumb hole and it looks like the first hole is covered. So I call B, pinchy B. Everybody finger that, like a pinch. That's why I call it pinchy B. Pinch, that's your B. Then your A, thumb is down, and now it looks like the first two holes are covered for your A. So your A is gonna look like this. Your B is pinchy B, and there's your A. Next finger goes down, B, A, B, A. Just do that a couple of times. Relax those fingers. The more relaxed your fingers are, oh my goodness, the better it is, all right? You're gonna be a great musician. Let's look at the G. Looks like thumb is down in the back, and boom, 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 dark, dark, dark. So the first three holes are covered for the G, plus the thumb in the back, okay? B, G, all right? So let's practice the B, A, and G. B, A, G, A, pinchy B, G, B, G. Relax those fingers. Now let's look quickly at the C and the D. These come up in uh, Jingle Bells. That's usually the first song that I have that requires the C and the D. So, thumb, yes. What about the first hole? Right, it's, it's white, so therefore the first hole stays up, okay? What about the second hole? Ah, that's dark. So therefore, this is how to finger a, a C. Thumb in the back and tall man finger covering the second hole. Please remember this. Um, your pointy finger belongs to the first hole. It will never ever go down on any other hole. Same thing with tall man finger. That belongs. Its home base is on the second hole. It won't ever go anywhere else but the second hole. Try to remember that. All right, now let's look at the D. This is an awesome note. The D, here's the fingering for it. Again, this is the top hand, and there's the line that represents the bottom hand. And in this case, for these five notes, it's only the top hand that is required to cover a hole. So, is the thumb down? <gasps> no. So the thumb stays up. Okay, wait, what about the first hole? Ah, that's 
not covered either. What about the second hole? Yes. And everything else, yeah, is all white. So therefore the D is only the second hole covered by tall man finger and the thumb is off in the back. Now, try to, to have your fingers close to the holes. Have your wrists, I find it easier when your wrists are kind of in, like, like this, okay? If you're up like this, it's really hard to cover the holes. So the difference between the C and the D is just this, C, and then take off the thumb hole for the D. C and D, C and D. So you know what? You can practice this when you're holding a pencil. Just go like D, A, G. When you're holding, do I have a pencil? No, but I have a pen. If you're sitting there and you have a pen in your hand, you go B, A, G. You're just teaching your brain to talk to your fingers. That's what it's all about. Your brain has to talk to your fingers. Those little neurons need to connect and go to the fingers and the muscles. And after a while, your brain tells your fingers what to do. But again, the key is chill out. Loosey goosey, your fingers just went to the spa. All right, with me so far? Okay, let's talk about the color of the notes and what they mean, all right? So when we see the big fat circle note here, that is called a whole note, and that you play for four beats. And I'm gonna talk about the beats in just a sec. When you see a white note with a stick, we call that the half note, and that you play for two beats long. And here is a quarter note, the black notes with a stick, that's the one beat note. So again, four beats for the whole note, two beats for the half note, and the quarter note, one beat note. Now, what do I mean about beats? You know, when you listen to a song, don't we all go, you know, your body kind of naturally grooves to a song. We just do that, right? That's the beat. That's the speed of that particular song. Now, what about if, you know, sometimes there's fast songs, and we know that, we feel it. We go, eh, 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 eh. sometimes the speed of the song is like this. Those are the beats, speed of the beats. So if I were looking at a whole note in my music, and that's all over the place. Let me see if I can pull one. Here we go. In Agent Bag, one of my favorite songs. There's a whole note right there. It's a four beat note, okay? These guys are half notes, white note with a stick, two beat notes. So here's how it would work. I'm looking at a whole note here, four beats long. First, determine the speed of the beat. Say if it was like this. What you do is you, I'm gonna do it on a B. And also, guys, whenever you start any note, tongue it. Little T action starts in your mouth, your tongue. It builds up air pressure so you can play the note. Don't go, you're gonna hyperventilate and pass out. It's awful, you need your tongue. All right, so I'm gonna play a couple of whole notes, four beat notes. If this is the speed of the beat, they be played like this. See how I just played a bunch of whole notes in a row and I counted to four. If it was fast, like this, this is the speed of the beat, the whole notes would be like this. Just like that, I'm still counting to four. Same thing, boys and girls, if I'm looking at a bunch of half notes, two beat notes, like right over here in this rhythm, you're counting to two in your head. So, if the song is slow, and I have a lot of slow songs, let's say it's this slow and I see a half note in front of me, it would be played like this. Or if it's a fast song, and this is the speed of the beat. Those are all half notes, but it just depends on the speed of the song. Speed of the beats. All right, quarter notes. Those are our wonderful one beat notes. And here's four of them in a row. Count to one on those. So those are played shorter. If this is the speed of the song, quarter notes would be played like this. Does that make sense? Or a fast song. Or a slow song. Depends on the speed of the song. All right. Now, one more thing I'm gonna talk about is we have symbols. You know when you see musicians play and they play for a while and then stop. It's like they're counting. And then they play again and they stop for a little bit. It's because we have symbols in our music that are called rests. And again, I'll show you with my agent back. Rest symbols are times when you have to be quiet. Don't blow. The symbols look like this. 
the symbol that looks like a, an upside down hat, that is called a whole rest. It means that the entire measure is silent. If each measure, each box, and I went over that with how to read music uh, lesson, if each box holds four beats, the time signature tells me that the top number is a four, so the boxes, the measures hold four beats, and you see a whole rest, you're shushing, you're doing four shushes. It's, I, I like to do it that way. Then, uh, when you have a symbol that looks like a hat, that's called a half rest, and that equals two shushes. Let's see if I have any of that in here. Uh, yeah, I, I do have some, but I'll show it to you another time. But that's just two shushes, no big deal. And then, this is the quarter rest. It looks like a little lightning bolt, and that's your shushing for one. Then we have symbols, and I have a lot of these in music. When you have a number with a bar under it, it's also a time to be very quiet but for a longer time, like in Agent Bag, which I will do with you guys sometime. But you see here, you have an eight. There's the bar. So it means eight measures of rest. So you're just sitting being quiet for a while. How long? All you do is you count to four eight times, like this. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four. We'll have a lot of practice doing that. Now, here's a rhythm that I want to play with you guys. And what you do, again, when you're reading the notes, you always start just like you're reading words on the page. You're starting on the left, play it, count it. Eyes move to the next, play it, count it. Eyes move to the next, play it, count it. Keep going, don't lose your focus. Keep laser focused on where you're at. It's so easy to get lost. Then when you finish counting your shushes over here, where do your eyes go? You just go to the next line, just like reading words on the page, okay? You get to the end of the line, then you go to the next line. Same thing, play it, count it, play it, count it. And to the end, I will play this rhythm, remember? Four beats, four shushes, four beats, four shushes, half notes. Play it for two, play it for two, and then one, 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 play it for four beats. I'm going to play it for you. Here's how it goes. Okay, this is the speed of the beat. Ready? Begin. Next line. Got it, guys? Here, I'll do this for you. I'll write the values so that you remember. Four beats, two. Two, one, 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 four. All right, let's play the rhythm. Here we go. One more time. Let's do it a little faster. If this is the speed of the beat, here we go. One, two, ready, begin. lessons sometimes I'll start you guys out with a rhythm just to re-remind you how to count our music notes and yeah and it just makes playing music so much easier and more fun when you understand what you're looking at okay boys and girls I hope this helped you with reading the values of the notes because now you know how to count them all right I miss all of you so much please uh, come to my channel. I'm posting new songs all the time. Uh, you, if you, uh, if I have some of your teachers, you you can make um, requests if you want. If there's certain songs you want, I will put it out there and dedicate it to you. So, I miss all of you boys and girls. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye.